Hey, what's up, beginner ukulele players out there? Tyler from 10thumbspro.com, working with JellyNote again. You know, JellyNote.com, the site that brings you just hundreds of thousands and thousands of interactive sheet music. Well, we're working together to make sure that you can play ukulele the way you want to play. We're breaking down a great beginner song and three easy beginner chords, C, D, and G, okay? Now, this is aimed towards beginners, so I'm going to go through in detail how to play each of these chords, and I'm going to walk you through some ideas and some transitions to help you change the chord, and then hopefully by the end you'll be able to play something like this. This is our goal for today, okay? So I'm going to take you through it piece by piece. So this is really aimed at beginners. It's going to be a pretty nice, easy, slow pace. Feel free to pause. The idea is that you do each of these in sequence and build them up. And by the time you're finished, you can play a Leonard Skinner song on ukulele. That's really cool, okay? So if you have your ukulele brand attention span, and if you have those three things, you can follow me on in. Let's break this one down right now. Okay, so just remember, just like I said in the instruction, I'm going to be going at a beginner's pace. If this is too slow for you and you just want to be able to strum and sing along the song, um, you can move forward now if you know the G, D, and C chord, okay? Alright, but for my beginners out there, I'm going to really be breaking this down for you. We're going to need three chords in this song, and I'll teach you them in the order of easiest to most difficult. The easiest is the C chord. Take your ring finger and put it on that third fret of that highest string, which is the A string. Now, a lot of ukuleles have an inlet or a mark on the third fret, or if you don't know what third fret means, you just count these spaces between the metal. One, two, three, okay? C chord. Oh yeah, you already a ukulele master. Okay, now this next one might feel a little awkward at first because you're not gonna really know how to get all your fingers on there, but I can give you some tips, okay? Pointer finger, middle finger, second fret, on that string highest up, followed by same fret, your ring finger, and then your pinky. Some people use these three with no pinky. Um, if you have a little bigger hands, this is a little easier. But if you can get your hands on there, you can also experiment with this. I prefer this one. It's going to be easier later to change chords, but that is my opinion. Feel free to play with them both. All right. Now, the key to here is maybe you don't want your hand to bring your elbow in too tight because then your hand's going to spread out like this. So this is a little easier if you get your elbow out just a little bit. The D chord. Now the G chord. Um, this is the first one that might make you a little frustrated, but it's going to be the cap that you're going to use a lot. And once you get familiar with it, you're going to forget that it was ever difficult for you. Okay? Pointer finger, second fret. Middle finger, third fret, E string. I'm sorry, ring finger, and the middle finger, second fret, A string. Okay? So those are your three chords. Okay, so I want to talk about something called key notes, or key fingers. Really what you're doing is when you're ch changing between chords, you want to aim the finger and think about the chord you're going to. So for example, my ring finger is here on the second fret of the E string and it needs to be to the third fret to make it to that C. I'm concentrating on my ring finger and just getting the other ones out of the way. From there, to go to the G, my ring finger will go up a string and these two will come down. So I'm using my ring finger like a guide. And really practice that even before you kind of put it into rhythm. Just practice just changing the chords. It doesn't even matter to a strum pattern, to a song, or anything. Just try to get them to change, all right? And once you get that, we're going to show you how to put it to a rhythm. And then once I show you how to put it to rhythm, we're going to put it to a strum pattern, and you'll have the song. But right now, practice on getting all these chords to sound clean and smooth, and that transition, focus on it, to get easier and easier, okay? The next thing we're going to look at is called the chord progression. And what does that mean? It is the order in which the chords will turn around or rotate around themselves. For this particular song, we are going to be playing a D chord first, a C chord, and a G chord. So the easiest way to build up to this, because we're going to need a strum pattern, but we're going to build up to the strum pattern. Let's start with just strumming the D, and we're going to count to two. One, two, the C, three, four, and the G, one, two, three, four. Now let's try to keep those numbers constant. 
one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, as you're doing these exercises, I would encourage you to have the ability to do these things four times in a row, smooth, without any effort. And as you can get them four times in a row, then you progress to my next little challenge with this, okay? If you can't get it four times in a row and you feel like I'm moving too fast, pause it and practice it until you have that four times in a row and then you can continue with this, okay? The next one we're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Tap your foot if you can. If you can't, that's fine. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Big wheels keep on turning. All right, I know it's not this slow, but there it is, right? Carry me home to see my kin. All right? Okay, next challenge. We're switching from the thumb to our index finger. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If you're having trouble switching between these chords, remember those target fingers, okay? Okay, so one, two, three, Aim for four times in a row. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to speed it up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now again, remember at any time, this would be good enough for you to sing along if you have the lyrics. The next step is going to be to add an up in there, like one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. <laughs> I missed an up. Okay, I missed an up again. Okay, so now that you've mastered all these pieces together, the next one's going to be a down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. This is really going to fill it out, okay? Because you want to go down four times, down, 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 up, and then up. And that's going to happen one time on the D, one time on the C, and one time on the G. Nice and slow. Down, 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 up, down, 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 down. So believe it or not, everybody, that's the entire song. You get those with the lyrics. The big wheels keep on turning. Then you got the whole jam, all right? 10thumbspro.com today, working with jellynote.com, um, the guys that bring you all these excellent sheet musics. And today we uh, were happy to work with them to bring you this lovely beginner jam, okay? 10thumbspro.com, jellynote.com, working together, making it happen. All right, everybody, and until next time, keep on doing what you do, and we're going to keep on teaching you ukulele. All right, Jelly Notes. All right, Ten Thumbers. All right, Alabama Nurse. Alabamers? Alabama Nights? If you're from Alabama, leave a comment below. Let us know how you say something from Alabama. I'm sorry that I don't know. Um, I've actually never been to Alabama. If you're from Alabama, actually invite me to Alabama. I'd love to see your beautiful state. All right, 10thumbspro.com. 
with JellyNote.com, bringing you ukulele action. This is how we do it. I hope you really dug it. Um, a lot of fun, and I'm really happy to bring it to you, okay? And until next time, keep on loving life, keep on playing that ukulele. Thanks, JellyNote, for making this possible. Take care, everybody. Thank you.